Hello, I'm Justin Ross with Fluke Biomedical and I'm coming back to talk to you a little bit more about transthoracic impedance and testing uh, defibrillators at different ohms loads. So we've presented this concept a few times uh, in our best practice videos and our best practice uh, webinars and the question gets brought up okay well this is great but why do i need to test this so it's been written into the iec standards for years and as defibrillators are developed it's something that they test in the factories yet we might not have been able to see it in our manuals for quite a while but i'm here to tell you in recent history i found this at least in two different service manuals so that's going to bring up another point when is the last time you reviewed your service manual when i was a field biomed we get a new device in, we get the manual, we'd read it, we'd write out our PAM procedure into the system, and we close the manual and put it away. And it wasn't pulled back until we had a question later on down the line. What I'm suggesting is maybe every so often, once a year, every other year, grab these service manuals, at least the ones for the um, critical care equipment, and review it. Make sure you have the most up-to-date service manual. Sometimes service manuals change and I have an update. Make sure that you have the most recent and that your test procedures follow the most recent standards. Just a good practice. Here's an example. They, we rewrite the NFPA 99 every three years. Which version are you following in your hospital and do you have that latest data? Just as an example. So again, what I'm asking you to do is simply just go back, pull your service manual, verify with maybe your sales rep or online that you have the most recent and that your PM tests follow those procedures. And you might be surprised at what you find in that service manual, including that you need to do this transthoracic impedance test. Thank you very much. And check back in in our next video where we show you how to hook up the Impulse 7000 to the 7010 load box. Thank you and have a good day.